bless you. Oh, we na broko toho sheke braha likre hiria leke de broko toho sheke de magalia de zekeria mekuto o sheke de ma mahalike de broko sheke de magala broko toho sheke de ba. Yeah, we give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord. As we honor you, you are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Oh, we give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. Lord, we give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy. Oh, Lord. Lord, you are wonderful. Father, you are worthy, oh, Lord. Ah, we give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. Lord, we give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. Father, you are worthy, oh, Lord. Oh, you are wonderful. Oh, you are worthy, oh. Lord. You are wonderful. Oh, you are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. I will declare. You are the only God. Hallelujah. The only God. The only God. I will declare you are the only God. Lord, I will declare, Lord, I will declare you are the only God. Hallelujah. The only God. Father, we thank you. The only God. I will declare you the only God, the only God, I know. I like
You can 
I cannot do without you, oh Lord. I cannot do without you, oh Lord. You can both heaven to us to show me the way up from the earth to the cross. My dad, you paid oh, from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. The Lord, I leave your name on you came from heaven to us to show us the way from the earth to the cross. My dad, you paid oh, from the cross to the grave. From the grave to the sky, Lord, I keep your name on. You are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. Yeah. You are the mighty man in battle. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man of God. You are Jehovah. Oh Lord, yes, you are Jehovah. Father, you are Jehovah. Oh, you are the mighty man in battle. You are Jehovah. Oh, you are the mighty man of oh, oh, You are Jehovah. Oh, yeah, you are the mighty man of oh, You are Jehovah. Ah, you are the mighty man in battle. Oh, you are Jehovah. Yeah, you are the mighty man of oh, You are Jehovah. Ah, you are the mighty man of oh, You are Jehovah. Uh, you are the mighty man of oh, You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man of oh, You are Jehovah. Is the mighty man of war? Is his Jehovah? I like to welcome everyone into God's presence. Go ahead and give him glory. Give him worship. Bless the name of the Lord. Magnify the Lord with me. Let us bless his name together. Go ahead and give him glory. Bless the Lord. Magnify him. Father, we thank you. This is another glorious day you have made. We will rejoice and we will be glad. Father, have your way this morning. Jesus, take all the glory. Take all the honor. Take all the adoration. We have come into the presence of God. The Bible says in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. That is fullness of joy, fullness of blessing, fullness of healing, fullness of deliverance, fullness, everything you want in full. It is present in the presence of God. In the presence of the Lord, there is full. full you will be full of power today be full of grace today. You will be full of power. You'll be full of healing. You'll be full of blessing. He said there is fullness. Everything you are looking for, you will get it in fullness. There is fullness of peace. There is fullness of joy. There is fullness of serenity. Father, we have come into your presence this morning. Father, we ask so God, take absolute control. Have your way today in the name of Jesus. We have come into 
into the presence of the mighty God. Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah El Shaddai, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, the ancient of days, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Rose of Sharon, the Lily of the Valley, the Bread of Life, the Mighty God, the Father of the widows, the Husband to the widows, the Father to the fatherless, the Husband of the widows. Father, we come before you. We bless your name. We magnify you. I want you to, to say, Father, we are grateful. He said, the, the psalmist said, I slept and I woke because the Lord sustained me. Psalm 3 verse 5. I slept and I woke because the Lord sustained me. Not your strength, not your power. It is not by might, it is not by power, but by the Spirit of the Lord. I want you to go before him and say, Father, I'm grateful. I thank you for your strength. Thank you for protection. Thank you because, Lord, I didn't die in my sleep. I, I woke up by uh, Birikata, strengthened and empowered to rejoice. It is an opportunity again for me to wake up. It is not a right, it's not a privilege, but your faithfulness, your mercy, your power, your protection, your loving kindness towards me. Many who are more righteous than me, some are still lying down in, in the sick bed. Father, but I thank you because I'm awake today. He said, morning by morning, he wakened my ear to hear the word of God. Father, Lord, I ask, oh God, woke my ear this morning. Empower me, oh God. I've come into your presence. I've come to worship you. I've come to magnify you. I've come to bless you. I've come to rejoice in your presence because I know when I come into your presence, something unique will happen to me. Your miracle will happen. Your power will be released. Strength will be released. Vitality will be released. Anointing will be released. Lord, in your presence this morning, change my story. Change my name. Whatsoever evil name have been called, let it be changed today. In the name of Jesus, empower me, Holy Spirit. Let Jesus be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I'd like you to thank God one more time. I always want to enter God's presence with thanksgiving. He said, enter his gate with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. He said, be grateful, be grateful, be grateful. Many of you think, oh, I have not received this. I have not received that. I have not gotten that. I've been waiting for unto God. But thank God that you are alive. Can anybody in the sick bed, in the hospital be thinking of job he will never think of job will anybody that is lying to the point of death in the hospital be thinking of pregnancy no he will not will anyone lie in the sick bed if i was reading something about elijah elijah this morning in, in second Kings chapter 13 he said he was about to die and he put his hand he said he called the king of israel he said come here open your window and begins to carry a bow and a harrow and he lay his hand on his hand. There is nothing that you have received that is not an extension of somebody's hand. There is a hand coming upon you this morning. There is a strange hand, a hand of prophetic, a hand of power, a hand that will deliver your desire into your hand. He told the king of Israel, he said, open your window and begin to pick a bow and a harrow. And then he said, come near me. This is a man that is at the point of death. He placed his hand, even at his death state, he still put his hand upon the hand of the king and said, shoot the arrow. He said, shoot the arrow. As soon as he shot the arrow, he said, this is the arrow of deliverance. I don't know what kind of deliverance you need this morning. A strange hand, supernatural hand, the power of God is coming upon your life. It's coming upon your hand. It's coming upon your destiny. It's coming on everything you need strength, wherever you need an extension. It was the prophet who placed his hand upon the hands of the king and he told him to shoot. That is without the strange hand, the hand of the prophet upon your hand, you cannot get what you are 
looking for. You can. There is a prophetic hand coming upon your life today. There is a prophetic hand coming upon your family this month. There is a prophetic hand coming upon your destiny today, and it will give you an extension. It will accelerate you. It will shoot you up. It will energize you. It will bring deliverance. It will bring healing. It will bring salvation. It will bring breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I like you to pray and say, Father, the arrow of deliverance, let it go forth to this morning. The arrow of my deliverance, let it go forth this morning. The arrow of healing, let it go forth this morning. The arrow of breakthrough, let it go forth for this morning. He says, shoot the arrow. This is the arrow of deliverance. Father, today I shall be delivered. Today I shall be liberated. Today I'm receiving my breakthrough. Today I'm receiving my breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. The arrow of deliverance. Which area of your life are you looking on to God for deliverance? The arrow of deliverance. It says, shoot the arrow. And then you will see mighty deliverance. Which area are you getting weaker and weaker? You need another hand upon your own hand. You need another hand upon your own hand. You can't do it on your own strength. He said, Hallelujah. I don't know which area of your life you need deliverance. He said, the arrow of deliverance. The arrow of deliverance. The arrow of deliverance. Father Lord, let the arrow of my deliverance go forth today. The arrow of deliverance. Let the arrow of my deliverance go forth this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let the arrow of my healing go forth this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. You see that scripture in 2 Kings chapter 13. If you read it from verse 14 to 17. 2 Kings chapter 13 from verse 14 to 17 is a prophetic hand by a prophet and also said the Bible says by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt that is every time you have deliverance there is an instrument that God will use to deliver you God will come down from heaven to deliver any man. He will always use the material, the instrument he has prepared on this planet earth. It will be a, 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 a breach of contract for God to step into the affair because when he created man, he said, have dominion. I have put you in charge of the old planet. I have put you in charge so I cannot cross it until a man permits him to take action. Let's say, Father, today, let the arrow of deliverance go forth this morning. The arrow of breakthrough, my arrow that, Lord, you have programmed that we bring my deliverance, the arrow that will bring my healing, the arrow that will bring my breakthrough, the arrow that will change my level, the arrow that will change. You see, it was when David and Goliath, they faced each other, you will realize that it is not just the, the, the catapult of David that brought Goliath down. It is the arrow of deliverance. It is the arrow for a stone to enter into a forehead of Goliath and bring the man went backward. He didn't fall flat forward. That is to tell you that it was a force that took that stone into his forehead and he pushed him backward. He fell down backward. That is the arrow of deliverance. It wasn't just a stone and a catapult. It was the hand of God upon the hand of David. The king said, I mean, Elisha said, come near me, the king. Let me put my hand on your hand. Before you shoot this arrow, my hand must be on your hand. If your the hands of God is on your marriage, the Lord will prosper you. If the hands of God is on your job, the Lord will prosper you. If the hands of God is upon your destiny, you will continue to no devil can bring you down. I want you to pray again. Father Lord, put your hand on my life. Put your hand on my destiny. Put your mighty hand, mighty hand of deliverance, the hands of breakthrough, the hands of lifting, the hands of a change of level. Lord, let it rest upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. The arrow of deliverance. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray.
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Another prayer I want us to pray is in Mark chapter 11. Hallelujah. Mark chapter 11. And Jesus Christ came to the, to the fig tree, expecting him to see fruit. And he saw fruit. He didn't see fruit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In Mark chapter 11. Are you there with your Bible? In Mark, we are praying now. Mark chapter 11. Let's read from verse 12. He said, And on the morrow, when they were come from Bethany, he was hungry. And seeing a fig tree afar off, having leaves, he came, if happily he might find anything thereon. And when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves. For the time of fig tree was not yet. That is what I want to get there. He said, nothing but leaves. Nothing but leaves. What are you expecting? You were you came to United Kingdom and expecting to be fruitful. But when people look at your life, they see nothing but leaves. Can people look at your destiny and say, we can find fruit in you? Nothing but the, in fact, the job you have been doing for 20 years, 30 years is keeping you nothing but, but the leaves. Instead of the job to give you fruit, is giving you leaves. Instead of that job, that destiny to give you fruit, is giving you leaves. Nothing but the leaves. That job is only producing leaves, not fruits. That marriage is only producing leaves, not fruit. That ministry, that church you are attending, only producing for you leaves and not fruit. That destiny is bringing only leaves and not fruit. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray this morning. I just saw this revelation this morning. He said, what are you doing? Is it producing fruit or is it producing leaves? Is your destiny producing fruit or is producing leaves? What do you expect in a plan? Is it fruit you are looking for or is it leaves? Jesus came to the fig tree. He was expecting the fig tree to bring fruit. He was expecting that marriage to bring fruit. He was expecting that job you are doing to bring fruit. He is expecting fruit from your ministry. He's expecting fruit from your destiny. He's expecting fruit from your family. He's expecting fruit from your children. What are they producing? I want you to pray this morning. Father, convert my leaves into fruit. Lord, in this land, help me to be fruitful. What have you been doing over the year that is not producing fruit? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, convert my leaves into fruit. Lord, let my leaf be converted into fruitfulness. Let my job, oh God, begins to produce fruit. Let my marriage begins to produce fruit. Let my ministry begins to produce fruit. Let my destiny begins to produce fruit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, whatsoever is just bringing out leaves, our leaves this year, four years is still producing leaves. Five years, you are still producing leaves instead of fruit. 20 years, you are still producing leaves. You will be tired of that tree when it is those fruit, I mean leaves that is producing. If it is the time for him to produce fruit and he's not producing fruit, you begin to ask questions. I want you to pray this morning and say, Father, any area of my life that is just producing leaves instead of fruit, Lord, let it be converted into fruit. Lord, help me to be fruitful. I shall be fruitful in my body. I shall be fruitful in the ground. I shall be fruitful in this land. I, my work shall be fruitful. The work of my heart shall be fruitful. My ministry shall be fruitful. My destiny shall be fruitful. My glory shall come alive in the name of Jesus. Breakthrough on every side. Increase on every side. Multiplication on every side. Lord, upon this ground that I stand, I shall be fruitful. My body shall be fruitful. My destiny shall be fruitful. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. One of the commandments God gave the Adam and Eve in the garden is be fruitful. Be fruitful. If he, 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 in fact, he didn't say be leafful. He said be fruitful. That is, 
you have the seed in you to make you fruitful. God cannot ask you to be fruitful if you are not seedful. The seed in you is to bring fruit in you. He said, be, God won't ask you to be what you cannot be. He said, be fruitful because you are seedful. The seed is in you. The I have put something in you. you. You are ordained to be fruitful. Failure is never part of your destiny. Disaster is not ever part of your destiny. Uh, backwardness is not part of God's program for your life. I want you to pray this morning. Whatsoever is making me unfruitful, let it be removed out of my way. Everything standing against my fruitfulness, Father, let them be removed. Every power standing against my fruitfulness, let them be removed. Every spirit standing against my fruitfulness, let them be cast out in the name of Jesus. It's a big fruitful. If you cannot be, it won't ask you to be. Hallelujah. Be fruitful. And finally, before we continue in the service, as I start rounding up for the prayer, I'm, 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 I'm overwhelmed this morning. I'm overwhelmed this morning. Another story is in 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 1. I want us to read that and then I round up the prayer. 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 1. All on your life will not stop. The all and the blessing flowing over your life will not stop. Look at it. Now there cry a certain woman. Now there cry a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophet unto Elisha, saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead. And now, and thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord. And the creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be born in my daughter. This is a man that died, left a widow. And he said, the creditor have come to take my children as born. What happened in the course of the year of this man, nobody knows. But I want to bring out a prayer point here. There are people that Due to what their fathers, their parents have done in the past, it's possible they have donated them into as a bondman. It's possible they have donated them in the secret place. It's possible they have donated them. He said the creditor came to take my two sons. The creditor, which means I have given. No, they are taking. They are taking over their children. Why? Because he's owing them something. What are the cre who are the creditor looking and uh, no looking for your downfall, trying to take you as bondmen, trying to make you slave all through your all your, your life, try to afflict you because of what your parents have seen have done. He said, Our parents have seen and they have gone, and we are partakers of their of their punishment. I want you to pray, Father, whatsoever my parents, my my family have done that the creditor is demanding payment from me that they are demanding payment from my life that they want to take over my life as well they want to keep me perpetually in bondage father let that thing be broken today let that covenant be broken this morning let that evil come i don't know what covenant they have made with the creditor and they are holding you they are holding you bound for life they said even though your father has died, we will continue to take revenge over you. I want you to pray this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, every creditor looking for my downfall, every creditor that is demanding for my life, every creditor that is demanding for my children, every creditor that is demanding and making me slave, and firing arrow of failure, arrow of downfall, arrow of bondage. Father, today by the blood of Jesus, I overcome them. He said they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Every creditor demanding for my life, every creditor demanding for the life of my children, I overcome them by the blood of Jesus. Jesus paid the price for me. I cannot hold any man any 
day, Jesus has paid, has sacrificed himself on the cross of Calvary to pay for my sin, to pay for my sin. Even when the devil is accusing you, the Bible says he's the accuser of, of the brethren. Even when he's accusing you, Jesus said, I have paid for his price. I have paid for his debt. I have paid for his debt. Jesus' blood has paid for you. I'd like you to pray. Father, every satanic creditor, every Satan that is demanding for my life, oh, Father, by the blood of Jesus, either through the sin of my father or the sin of I have committed, Father, that they are demanding that I must pay them. Father, by the blood of Jesus, let it, oh God, stand for me. Let the blood of Jesus atone for me. Let the blood of Jesus pay my price. Let the blood of Jesus pay the debt for me. Let the blood of Jesus pay the debt for me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lord, we give you glory. Blessed be your holy name. We hallow your name. May your name be exalted forever. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Brothers and sisters, you are most welcome again into God's presence. And I believe God is faithful. He has done us well. This prayer, please pray it over again. I believe some of you have written it down. Some of you are taking this uh, scripture down. Please and um, please pray it over and over again. It's very, very vital. God gave me this prayer this morning. He said, pray it. I, I, what I wanted to do before was, was change me this morning. And I want you to pray that prayer over and over. I will also do the same. And think this is the prayer I will pray. Every creditor demanding for my life, every creditor demanding for you know that I have done this, I have done that, and they are demanding for your life, demanding for your destiny, demanding to make you bond men, to make your children bound, to make you bound in sickness, in affliction, and whatsoever. That the blood of Jesus, using the blood of Jesus, that it will atone for you, it will stand for you. And it will cover you up in the mighty name of Jesus. You are welcome into God's presence. The Lord is here to visit you. It will change your story. Your life will not remain the same again. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we are praying. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. Uh, to lead us further in the service, I will hand over to our Sunday as they take us in the Bible study. God bless you. To you, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are very grateful, Lord, for taking us to this day, for bringing us to this service. 